come with me. I need you for something. Oh, you know what I need you for, you little shit. Now follow me. Yes, I do look frustrated and more than a little annoyed. I am going insane. I almost punched my soon-to-be father-in-law in the face and do you know why? Yes, it does have something to do with the rule your mother put in my place. So, you overheard what she told me. You just kind of figured, given my increasingly bad mood. You have a lot of guts, I'll give you that. Just so we're fully aware of what I'm talking about, let me tell you this. Your mother has requested me that we can't do it until our wedding night. Of all the stupid, nonsensical things to ask, I'm annoying because she's acting like she's a virgin, and I know for a fact she's not, or you wouldn't be here today in a very fine suit. What has this got to do with you? You're going to help me. No, I don't need you to convince her. Mm. I consider myself a very patient man, but I'm at my edge. I would have understood all you have to do is hold out for a few months, but a whole year without doing it has driven me half mad. I know it's my wedding day, and I know I only have to get through it, but for all I know she'll tell me she's too tired, or let's go slow tonight and pretend this is her first time. Fuck that. I need to do it, and you're going to help me. Yes, you. Oh, don't act like this isn't your biggest fantasy come to life. I know you find me very attractive, and I find you quite handsome. What? Are you surprised I swing both ways? You always hoped. I bet you're getting everything you want. You walk around like a little king. The amount of times I wanted to put you over my knee is insane. Listening to you watching your yaois has been grinding down whatever little restraint I've been clinging to. Do you know how tough it has been sleeping next to the ice queen? While you're walking in and out of the house with the smell of a different man's cologne clinging to your clothes every other day. Ha! Huh, is that right? The local daddies like you. Oh no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But there's a daddy right in front of you that you've yet to serve us. Maybe that's why you sleep with them and try to live the fantasy you've had in your head about me. Please, look at me. I know what I look like. I fill this suit out quite nicely, don't I? Hmm, my thoughts exactly. I can hardly believe it either. The fact that she can resist me at all is impressive, but also troublesome. Yes, it's insane, but not as insane as what I'm about to do to you before the wedding. Oh, we have plenty of time. With everyone running around and following every order my bride barks, no one will come looking for us. You'd be surprised how overlooked the groom is at his own wedding. As long as I stand at the altar, no one cares. Yeah, it does sound lonely, but why would I when I have you here? I can give you an experience you will never forget. I promise throughout this ceremony, every inch of your skin is going to be calling me. You'll be wishing I was spending my wedding night with you, kissing you, making love to you. <laughs> Am I worried I won't be able to perform tonight if I play with you beforehand? That's adorable. You're cute. You'll be taking the worst of my heat, while she'll be getting something much more gentle. But I will be able to perform, have no fear. The only thing you need to worry about is if this beautiful mouth will be able to take all of me. So, are you going to help your soon-to-be stepdad or not? Good boy.